So I have some fancy iPad Pros and I use the Apple Magic Keyboard with those iPads. But usually when I make videos for YouTube, I use the base iPad. And I do that because I know many of you that follow this channel use the base iPad. But even though it's the base iPad, it's really not all that different from the more expensive iPad Pros. Of course, if you've got the money and you want the best, you can't go wrong with an iPad Pro. But I don't think you can go wrong with the base iPad either. But the one thing that's missing from the base iPad is that very clever Magic Keyboard. Then I came across the Logitech Combo Touch Keyboard and I learned how to navigate my iPad faster than ever. You couldn't even do much of this stuff just a few years ago, but Apple has meticulously updated the software to add new functionality, including using a keyboard and trackpad combination. Honestly, it's like having a little laptop computer, only better because, you know, it's a tablet too. If you're a senior or beginner and want to learn how to use a keyboard trackpad and that ever popular pencil with your iPad, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich. I make videos on how to get the most out of your iPad and iPhone for seniors and beginners. And I try to do it in a way that's easy to follow. None of that, you know, whipping around at light speed or showing you some buried feature that very few people care about. Just the facts, ma'am. And if you're a senior, you know what I mean by that. Hey, if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow, which in turn supports the producing of these videos. And to all of you who have subscribed, thanks so much. Let's get started by taking a look at the Logitech Combo Touch Keyboard. It's not cheap. You can pick it up for about 130 bucks on Amazon. I've included an affiliate link in the description below. By the way, Logitech has not sponsored this video. I just love the product and wanted to share with you how I use it. First of all, let's talk about connections. It attaches and detaches to the keyboard using magnets. You can imagine how handy that is. And when you attach it, it automatically hooks up the keyboard and trackpad through Apple's smart connector. You may not know it, but if your keyboard doesn't have the smart connector, you have to go through Bluetooth pairing to get it to work. It's not super hard to do, but it's just more friction than I want to fool with. And the Logitech Combo Touch is a case as well, so you get some protection when using it. You can also detach it from the keyboard and use it as a stand when watching videos, you know, like videos on my channel. Super useful and clean looking. Unlike the much more expensive Apple Magic Keyboard, this keyboard comes with a row of function keys at the top. Here you can control screen brightness, you can search for and open apps, you can control the volume of videos or music, and you can put the iPad to sleep. This one extra row of keys really sets this keyboard apart. I think Apple should have done this. I like the typing experience on the keyboard. Logitech has a long history of making keyboards and it shows here. The keys are responsive without being too squishy. The spacing is good so that the overall typing experience is pleasurable. And even if you're not much of a typist, this keyboard is still worth considering. A couple of years ago, Apple added a round cursor to the iPad that can be controlled by a trackpad. And it's neat how the cursor changes shape as you move it over an object that can be clicked on. One of the first things I do is set the speed of the cursor to go as fast as it can go. Not because I'm some speed demon, but just because I've gotten so used to using the trackpad. Of course, you can set it to whatever speed you're comfortable with. I also like to tap the trackpad rather than press hard to click it. And both of these settings can be turned on by going to settings, general, and then trackpad. You know, there's really a lot more that I could cover, but I like to keep my videos to the point. And honestly, overall, this is a nice keyboard trackpad combination. I know it's not cheap, but it's way cheaper than Apple's Magic Keyboard, and it's more than enough to accomplish the tasks a keyboard should perform. So let me introduce you to the Apple Pencil. If you'd prefer to take quick notes with a pencil rather than typing them out on a keyboard, then this thing is for you. Right now, it's $89 on Amazon, affiliate link in the description below. You probably never dreamed you'd pay $89 for a pencil, but believe me, this is not your number two pencil you used in high school. But you need to know that there are two versions of the Apple Pencil. Version one is made for the base iPad. It has a removable cap that you take off to charge the pencil. And you charge it by sticking it into the end of your iPad. I know it looks kind of stupid. And while I'm sure it can be snapped off by accident while charging, I haven't done that yet. Version 2 is a better design. It attaches and charges by magnets, but it's not made for the base iPad. It's for the iPads with a more modern design. So if you do decide to get an Apple Pencil, make sure 
you get the one that works with your iPad. Having said that, they both perform very well. I'm using version one on the base iPad for this video, and I love how well it works. Connecting it to your iPad is as easy as inserting it into the lightning connector on the iPad. Once it's paired with the iPad, you can start using it. I use it for taking quick notes. With a tap of the pencil on the dark screen, you can go directly to Apple's notes and write a note. And if you're like me, you used to grab a sticky notepad and write down short notes like, you know, phone numbers and such. Apple Notes has a quick note feature where you can just swipe from the bottom right corner and a note will pop up. Write down what you need to write down and then tap done. It's that easy. And you can easily do that with the Apple Pencil. You can also use the Apple Pencil to open apps and navigate. One of the things I like best is that you can highlight text in the Apple Books app super helpful when you want to remember an author's key ideas. So the purpose of this video was to give you a taste of how powerful your iPad can become when paired with a keyboard, trackpad, and an Apple Pencil. And I've only scratched the surface on what an Apple Pencil can do. I'll be doing a full-blown video on the Apple Pencil soon, so be sure to subscribe and tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified when that video is released. But if you're in the market to expand the functionality of your base iPad, then I would consider the Logitech Combo Touch Keyboard and the Apple Pencil. As you become more proficient in using your iPad, you'll find adding these accessories will boost you to an entirely new level. Well, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.